right, today we're going to talk about how to use Google Sheets to create a conference sign-up form for your parents. So let's go ahead and get started. So either from your waffle where it says apps, or if you're on a Google page, you'll see your gray waffle here. You're going to find Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet program, it has a lot of boxes. It's basically a large table um, that can be shared with anyone. So if you click on Google Sheets, um, if you've never need made a sheet before, you'll just have um, a plus sign here where it says blink. And you'll go ahead and push the rainbow plus sign. Now, if this were me and I was creating a conference sign up sheet or if I had other meetings um, where parents were going to be stopping by, um, I'd go ahead and get a, a title. So for the sake of today, I'll just call it conferences 2021. Now for the table itself, uh, let me just show you a couple tricks about how to format your table and then how to share it. So a table here is just a series of boxes. In order to adjust the width of one column, I can just click and drag between the letters. Um, and if I'd like to make my rows wider, I can click and drag between my numbers. So for the sake of this, you might want to go ahead and do something like time student name, parent name, email address, contact phone number. You can really decide what's useful and helpful for you. Once I've decided on my header columns, you'll notice that these here are fitting okay within their column. But here where it says contact phone number, this doesn't quite fit. So I have two options. Again, I can go up and click and drag to make it wider. Or if I select the whole column, if I'd like to keep it nice and small, and I'd like to just make these letters wrap around, I can select the letter at the top of the column and come over here to this little symbol that says text wrapping. And I have some options. Your middle option with the arrow says wrap. And that will wrap your numbers or your letters or whatever's in that box so that it fits a little better. So you'd want to take some time formatting this here. You can also select a whole row and add things like bold. You can fill with color. You can also decide where you want your text to lie. So it could be centered if you like the look of that. It could be aligned to the left. Um, you also have an, a vertical align button here, which allows you to decide where in the box your letters or your numbers or your data lies. So again, I could say I would like it kind of centered. So it's really just a look and a feel that you feel good about. Now, when you shared this out with parents, you may want to kind of indicate a little more clearly where you want them to type. So in order to create kind of boxes or tables, you would want to select your area. And then right next to your fill bucket, you have a borders column where you can decide where you'd like to add some lines. And that just helps people see visually where you would like them to type. Now, before you sent this out to parents, if you were doing a conference sign up, you'd probably want to type in your days and your time here. And then maybe the rest you would leave blank. You can just leave a note for parents off to the side that's not in a box that says, please pick a time and fill in the necessary information. It's okay to leave a little message. And sometimes um, you may even want to just bold that or change the text color so they can see. But that's kind of the basics of how you create a spreadsheet. And then to share that out with parents, or guardians, whoever you think might need to be choosing a time, you would click the share button. And then you would click down here. Right now we're restricted for who can get in. So if we said share with Marysville School District, that gets us to where we can have some additional options. And then we would need to make sure it says anyone with the link because your parents probably don't have a Marysville School District account. The only other thing you'd want to check on sharing is right now it just says they're a viewer and we would want to make sure that they were actually an editor so that they could come in and edit. And then we're going to say 
done. Okay, so now I see this little person with the share icon underneath. That means that it's shareable. And I always like to check and see if this little bubble pops up and it says public on the web. Anyone on the internet with the link can open and that's how you need it for your parents. And then I just open it one more time and say copy link. That's a shareable link that can be copy and pasted into an email or however you communicate with your parents and then they all have access. Now, one last tip, if for some reason something happens to your table, let's say a parent accidentally deletes a, a couple of lines or you'd like to get back to a previous version, this little gray message here is your version history. So if I click on that, I can see all the different times that this was auto-saved or worked on. So if I needed to go back to a different time, so for example... A parent called and said, sorry, I deleted some people's when I was typing mine. I can click on one of the different versions. And then when I say restore, it would go back to that. So that's just um, the version history. And it's up there at the gray, um, under the gray icon here where it says when it was last edited. So I hope that helps give you an idea about how you can make a fillable table that can share with parents, staff, or guardians for a variety of meetings um, or events that you're having at your school.